The children received a massive confidence booster in the form of television personalities driving all the way to Orange Farm to watch them play. ETV Sunrise newsreaders Tuelo Mpolo King and Neo Monietsane, joined by Khakiso Modupe from local soapy scandal, graced the event. They said La Cresta and Podumo were the first to take to the fields in an action-packed match, which saw Podumo scoring at will, winning the match 4-1. Having lost their match earlier, Lesedi La Cresta were again called into action and this time battling against Ahanang. Fatigue had surely crept in as they received four more from Ahanang, setting the stage for an exciting final with Podumo. The two finalists indeed came to the party as they dished some exciting football. Ahanang were the first to get onto the score sheet but could not hold onto their lead for long as Podumo equalised in the dying minutes. The match was then decided on a penalty shootout which declared Podumo champions after a 3-0 win. One of the event sponsors from Worldwide Works, Arthur Goldstar, was very delighted his company is part of this initiative and of the small contribution they are making towards the project. We feel privileged to be able to come into a community like this and to feel that we are making a contribution to it. We don't see it as a challenge at all. We want to make this an annual event. Actor Khakiso Modupe also expressed his joy and he was called in to be part of this Orange Farm event. For me to be part of this, it's, it's, it's really amazing, my man, because I do a lot of CSI programs and, and I do believe in, in development of, of young kids and stuff, you know. So to be here, it's, 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 it's an honour, it's an honour, but you know, to see the happiness in, in, in these kids, and it's just amazing. The district office, though, feels there's still a lot of work to be done to uplift sport in the poverty-stricken southern Johannesburg district. Facilities in the region are of a poor state, and they feel upgrading of facilities will generate more participation by youth. My dream is to uh, see all my schools, especially the previously disadvantaged schools, having a full kit in all sporting codes, if possible, and uh, participating well in all the sporting programs that we have. Uh, because there are still other programs that we are lacking, that uh, some schools participate and some schools don't participate. The provision of soccer kits and the dream bags are the building blocks for the much bigger medium-term goal that Dreamfields has set. That is, the creation of football fields and football communities, especially in rural areas. The goal was celebrated recently in the Mpumalanga village of Drikopis, where two new fields were launched. The newly grassed Three Copy Stadium, the showpiece of the project, played host to the finals of the Salati Super Cup. A fitting end to a massive tournament which involved 172 teams when it started. The decision to invest 1.6 million rand in the Three Copies area was inspired by TSB Sugar and South African National Parks, who together have created the Salati Super Cup, one of South Africa's most successful amateur soccer competitions.